This isn't our normal cereal. Well, because this is the store brand, but it's delicious. While big brand name food companies compete to stand out, others are out there playing imposter to ride the wave of success. Here are more of the top 15 hilarious knockoff food brands. Fake, 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 fake. <laughs> Mountain Shoutin'. It's diet, dude. Diet soda doesn't give you diarrhea. There are many different types of knockoff sodas out there, almost all of them with some ridiculous name that tries to stick close to the actual brand name without getting too close to it to avoid any chance of being sued for copying the brand. I see what you did there. Good one. The most popular brand name to copy is Dr. Pepper, but coming in a close second is Mountain Dew, with a bunch of knockoff versions out there. Mountain Shoutin is a knockoff version of Mountain Dew, and while the flavor may be sort of similar to the much beloved greenish soda, it's not the same as buying the name brand soda itself. It has the usual taste that knockoff sodas do, where it comes close to almost being what you're looking for, but never quite satisfying that craving. You may just want to go ahead and spend the money and buy the actual Mountain Dew rather than this knockoff. Oreo. Mother Oreo smoothie now! Oreo is a cookie brand that is local to Egypt and one that is extremely similar to Oreos in name and look. Oreos are two chocolate cookies with a vanilla cream filling, and Oreos are, well, the exact same thing. Oddly enough, Kraft Foods bought out the original owners of Oreo in 2000, and three years later, they would do the same thing with the company that made Boreos. So while Boreos are technically a knockoff food based on Oreos, they are now owned and made by the same parent company, meaning they are bringing in the money from both the original Oreos brand as well as one of the popular regional knockoff brands of that same cookie. Rather than trying to get rid of the competition, they would instead buy them out and collect their profits as well. Money, 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 money. If you're ever in Egypt, this knockoff cookie brand may be worth at least trying to see how similar it is to the original Oreos. Thick Mints. Thick. 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 Most people know the famous Girl Scout cookies known as Thin Mints, thin cookies with a minty inside and a chocolate outside. They are much loved by many people and are one of the most popular cookies sold by the Girl Scouts. Though there are other similar versions of this style of cookie, one of the most ridiculous ones is called Thick Mints, and these are also exactly what you would expect. The classic Thin Mints are thin cookies that perfectly balance the mint and chocolate in them, whereas Thick Mints are these same cookies, but instead of a thin bit of mint inside, this cookie has a very thick mint patty inside that is surrounded with just a bit of chocolate. Just a little bit. I can't stress the littleness of it enough. These knockoff cookies have a larger proportion of mint to chocolate, which is a little less appealing than actual Thin Mints, as the mint can get really overwhelming. Marshmallow Mateys what is this glutinous monstrosity before me? Marshmallow Mateys are oddly named, considering they're a ripoff of Lucky Charms. With Mateys in the name, many people would think that it would be some sort of Cap'n Crunch knockoff, but it is, in fact, a plain cereal that has little marshmallow pieces just like Lucky Charms. While they're not as direct with their knockoff as some of the other alternate brands, they did take the general concept of Lucky Charms and renamed it so that they would not have issues with copyright. Smart, and Smart. Instead of focusing their name and designs around the leprechaun, as Lucky Charms did, they chose to go with a pirate theme so as to not be that similar to the Lucky Charms brand. While they're not the only knockoff brand of the popular Lucky Charms cereal, it feels like Marshmallow Mateys are doing the best job at hiding in plain sight, and are worth mentioning above some of the other knockoff competition. Could it be butter? I still can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> butter is something that is extremely imitated, whether it's an actually known brand or one of the more hilariously named ones, such as Could It Be Butter? As it turns out, it is definitely not butter, but they do get some points for having a mysterious name, alluding to the fact that it could possibly be butter. But you will not know unless you buy it and try it for yourself. That's interesting. That's very interesting. 
Though it is safe to assume from the name and the fact that it's a knockoff brand that it is not butter at all. There are a lot of butter alternative options out there, including margarine brands that are purchased by many households. But the best ones are those that have hilarious names, like could it be butter? If you want to find more hilarious names for knockoff butter brands, it's as easy as a quick Google search, because there are a lot of them. MFC. What? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. MFC is a chicken restaurant that seems to be named after the popular restaurant chain KFC, though MFC stands for Mr. Fried Chicken. Yes, the name is similar to KFC, they simply took out the Kentucky part and changed it to Mr., and they had their ideal fried chicken restaurant name. Easy peasy. They're a popular chicken restaurant in India, and they claim to be the best choice for fried chicken, at least according to their website. This is an awfully bold claim, considering how many other chicken restaurants are out there, including the real deal KFC themselves. MFC says that they locally source their ingredients, which is at least a little different than the chicken restaurant they're copying, but they are still a direct knockoff of the internationally known KFC chain. Though it may be popular in India, it has not moved anywhere else in the world. At least, not yet. Show your support by hitting that like button. We do appreciate it. Now, let's keep going. The show goes on! Mama John. Mama. Mama. Papa John's is a really well-known pizza chain. What you may not have heard of is Mama John's, which is obviously a knockoff of Papa John's. Tell me about it. It feels like a half-hearted attempt with only a slight name change, but there was no effort to make this a knockoff without being obvious about it. All they did was switch Papa to Mama and continued on with their day, selling hot pizza just like their direct namesake. Most of the time, these knockoff brands try to at least change the name enough so that they cannot be a accused of exactly what they're doing. Mama John's is a little bolder than some other knockoff brands. Legs. We're on strike. Hunger strike. You're eating potato chips. Potato chips are an extremely popular snack all over the world, and there are several different brands that are known for their flavors and quality. One of the most popular brands are Lay's potato chips, with a large range of flavors, including some limited edition and strange flavor releases. Playing off of the famous Lay's brand, are the hilariously named Legs Chips. What? what These chips could make for some hilarious times. Asking someone to pass you the legs could be confusing and funny if they don't realize that you're talking about these knockoff chips. Other than trying to copy Lay's, there's no other reason for this brand to be named Legs. There are other names that could have been used, but for some reason, the producers of these chips decided to go with the name Legs. Maybe it was a ploy to bring attention to their product due to the hilarious name. Tick Tick Tic Tac? Tic Tacs are very well known. These little candies come in easy to dispense plastic containers and classic minty flavors or in fruity flavors as well. They can be found in the pockets, backpacks, cars, and purses of people all over the world. There are even region specific Tic Tac flavors. So it's no surprise that there is a knockoff with a very uncreative knockoff name. This knockoff brand simply removed the I and A from Tic Tac and replaced them with C's instead. Very original, Steven. While it's not likely that these candies taste the same as the brand they copied, they at least put in some sort of effort to ride on the coattails of this well-known brand. They even come in the same type of iconic container that Tic Tacs do, and the logo would be easy enough to mix up with the real Tic Tacs if you were just grabbing for them quickly at the store. Party Chips Let's get the party started. Not the way I taught you. Mm -hmm. Party chips sound like a fun brand, but in reality, there's nothing that is overly unique about this brand. Instead, this is a knockoff brand of Pringles, offering the same type of chips with similar flavors, texture, and shapes as the popular chip brand. Party chips are not as fun as the name would suggest, simply being a less flavorful knockoff of Pringles. The cans are also shorter, so while they are cheaper than the brand name, they're not as tasty and there are less of them. You would be much better off just buying Pringles and spending the little bit extra for the flavor, quality, and quantity. Trust me when I say this. As with most off-brand items, they're not as good as the original, and they're cheaper for a reason. Taurus. 
Whoa! Mama, there's a kick like a mule! Energy drinks are an extremely popular thing these days. With so many different brands and flavors out there, it can be hard to choose just one. There are those that are loyal to the really well-known brands such as Rockstar, Monster, and Red Bull. But you may not know what you're missing out on if you don't branch out and try those other classic brands such as Taurus. Yes, Taurus is exactly what you think it is, a knockoff brand of Red Bull, right down to the branding and color scheme used with a bull image in red on a blue background with white details. Good luck with that. This is cutting it close to playing off of the Red Bull brand without actually getting in trouble for being the exact same. The taste is probably a little different than the Red Bull we're used to, but may be more liked by some consumers than the brand they're knocking off. Mr. Mahmood. Uh, guys, we gonna want another pizza. Let me just, who's hungry? Show a hand. Mr. Mahmood is not a name that really gives any hint as to what it's trying to rip off. But as soon as you see the logo, it's extremely obvious what they're trying to emulate. With a big golden M, it is suddenly clear that they are trying to copy McDonald's. Oh, we love McDonald's. What? The biggest difference between the two is the fact that Mr. Mahmood sells pizza instead of hamburgers. In fact, the only thing that is really a knockoff is the giant golden M logo. Other than that, they're just operating a regular pizza place. No rip-off Big Macs to be found here. This restaurant has been called the evil twin of McDonald's due to the fact that the giant golden M reminds people of McDonald's, but they cannot get hamburgers there. Tolerone. Wow. We'll have the... <laughs> Toblerone sounds like a failed attempt at saying Toblerone, and that is exactly what it tries to sound like. This is a ripoff of Toblerone, though the lower quality is obvious with this chocolate bar. Definitely worth spending the extra money on the actual brand name if you're looking to enjoy a Toblerone bar. I'm for real. I'm for real. The funniest part of this knockoff chocolate bar is saying the name. It makes you sound like a toddler who's having a hard time pronouncing Toblerone. The quality of the chocolate itself is not up to par, and the ingredients just don't go together as well as in the real Toblerone. Unless you're fine with cheaper chocolate and just looking for a quick, sweet fix and Toblerone is the nearest thing, you're better off picking up something else. Crispy Hexagons. Just waiting for my breakfast. Lewis! Crispy Hexagons did not even try to come up with some clever name or logo. They just used a literal name that describes exactly what this cereal is. They are a knockoff of Crispix by Legos. And actually, there are a few different companies that made this same knockoff cereal with the exact same name. There had to have been something else to call it, a more clever name that would have been more fun. But instead, multiple companies decided to simply just use a descriptive name and run with it. If it works, it works, and clearly, since multiple companies have used the same name, it must at least sort of be working. It makes sense, doesn't it? The taste is pretty similar, as it's an easy cereal to copy, but it's not quite the exact same as the original cereal. Burger Friends And the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So Jim is actually my friend. Burger King is known internationally. The royal-sounding burger chain plays on the name and uses a golden crown in its branding, as well as a king for a mascot. Burger Friends is a Burger King knockoff, but without the royal theme. Instead of being a king ruling over the land of fast food, this restaurant is simply a friend. Burger Friends has a cute little mascot of a guy wearing a suit. Not sure how that fits in with the name Burger Friends, but he does look awfully friendly and inviting. For this time, for you, for this time. Yes. <laughs> All right. While Burger Friends is not nearly as popular as the restaurant chain giant Burger King, they do exist and they're out there. And some of their menu items sound an awful lot like some of the limited time items that Burger King has released. Let's go to BF just doesn't sound the same as let's go to BK. Thanks for sticking around. We've got more videos just for you. So stay right here and check one out.